Hi, this is Raj from MR Sports Cars. I'm here today with our newest stock, which is a 2014 Porsche 981 Cayman S. This is the last model Cayman S that had a flat six engine. After this, they brought in the four cylinder turbo, which ruined the sound and the classic Porsche characteristics of the Cayman. This car is incredibly highly specced. It's obviously in Guards Red, which is a lovely gloss color, all the way from the 80s 911s. It's the same color that those iconic 80s whale tail 911s had, but it's got a whole heap of options, including the GTS style rear lights, It has the Carrera S wheels, but from the factory they were finished in gloss black. And you can tell it's a factory finish because the insides are grey, the outsides are black, and the edge is a polished silver rim. Red calipers are standard on Caymans, Cayman S's I should say. So yeah, they are in fabulous condition, all four wheels. Daylight running lights were fitted as standard on the 981 Caymans. By Xenon headlights at the front as well, so they're extremely bright. This car has also had the, I think they're Zen Sport grills put in, so that stops leaves from getting in into the vents areas in front of the radiators and also on the side intakes as well they're fitted and also on the rear on these sections here it's got them fitted so the full kit now it also has payment uh, paint protection film on the whole front of the car so that's the bonnet the front wings the front bumper are all protected against stone chips so the paintwork is in fabulous condition now to go with the Guards Red paint, it's got a full black leather interior. So the seats are, are leather, as are these sections and this centre console here. Red belts obviously were optioned from the factory as well to match the Guards Red paintwork, complete the sporty look. And as you can see, it's in absolutely fabulous condition on the inside as well. That's with the spoiler up. It does go down. So here on the inside, and you can just, let me just show you the leather. Great condition, I open up the boot. Now this car has the Sport Design steering wheel, which paired with the PDK Gearbox give you, gives you these full size down a gear, up a gear paddles. So you can change gear very, very quickly, whether it's in auto or manual mode, those work. It also has kick down with the PDK. So it's a seven speed ZF, ZF gearbox built in Germany. Very reliable boxes and works perfectly for a spirited drive as well as commuting because you don't have the clutch but it's just so responsive. Now this has all the buttons, as I say, so seven buttons. So it has PASM, which was optional, which is the switchable suspension, which is this one. Um, it has Sport, Sport Plus, the switchable exhaust, spoiler up and down, start stop mode, you can turn that on and off. And obviously you can turn traction control off as well. It has heated seats, which is a three stage system. It has the optional two zone climate control, so it lets you set temperatures for both sides and it has the full sat nav system so there you can see the sat nav is running it also has the dab module so it's got digital radio as well as fm plays dvds and cds and it also has the jukebox so you can store up to 10 gigabytes of data on the system and it's all there's the inputs for that so you just plug in a usb stick with all your mp3s and it will ask you to copy them 
or not. And there's also a 12 volt in there and an auxiliary input there as well. Um, there should be a 12 volt supply there. This car has Bose, so the 400 and something watt system, which is, I think it's 10 speakers, it might be 11. Um, but that system is absolutely amazing. Also, it has the stopwatch. So when it's not in use, it works as a clock. That was part of the Sport Chrono Plus package, which also included that Sport Plus button and basically unlocked extra modes on the PDK system. So very, very good to have that. This covers this car's covered 46 820 miles it was serviced in august of this year so august 2020 and i'll just show you that information so service interval next service due august 2022 in 24,900 miles uh, however an oil service is due in 19,400 miles so just under 20,000 miles till the next service or two years whichever comes sooner now this being a sport chrono plus package equipped car it has some extra menus on here so you've got the the one with all the fluids and you can change what information you want to see there um, it has what you have on the radio or whatever you have on the on the PCM playing music wise then you've got your phone when you Bluetooth connect that it also does audio streaming then you can have the map um, where you want to go trips uh, but then you've got this chrono menu as system there so when you start that it starts the clock ticking and then when you stop it and reset it and then you go to a different screen it will start telling the time again and then you also have the g-force meter too this car also has the optional cruise control system so that's controlled by that stalk there Another useful option for those that are going to be using this on a daily basis or on long journeys. Um, it also has the auto lights. So yeah, incredibly equipped car. Has everything you could possibly want. Obviously the cup holders are standard. You get two of those. And this, this system is also touchscreen as well. So you basically can just do that or you can use the the knob to select something depending on what you prefer there is a sim card slot there because it's got the phone module so as i said um it's very well equipped as standard these comes with obviously electric mirrors electric windows it's all very very clean even even the fuel cap has been kept clean very very well looked after car as you'd expect there's the boot area there is also a front boot as well which has got loads of space as well and then you have the bits where you would check the oil uh, not check the oil where you would top up the oil and where you would top up the coolant if required however these cars shouldn't need any topping up there's a few extra storage compartments in that in those cubbies there so they slide open and you can put stuff in there they're quite deep because the engine's here but then those bits are hollow so there it is um it's a 2014 981 cayman s in guards red with lots of black options lots of extra sports options if you're interested in finding out more please don't hesitate to get in touch thanks for watching mm -hmm.